Hello. <laughs> Just kidding, that's another song. My name is Gabby Bravo and I'm a musician. I play Mexican indie pop. I play music, uh, sing, I paint. I was born in Veracruz, Mexico, and I lived there until I was 11. And then I migrated to the US and arrived at, I believe, in sixth grade? No, seventh grade. Financially, my upbringings were pretty limited, I would say. Um, grew up kind of poor, not kind of, very poor. I felt it and I noticed it when my best friend, they just had a little bit more. <laughs> not a lot either, but they had a little bit more. Even though we didn't have much to eat, we always had tortillas and we had chile, salsa and frijoles. My mom used to make huevos and then I would ask her, are you not gonna eat? And then she would say, si, sí, ahorita a lo último. But I knew what that meant, you know, maybe like she was making sure that we ate first. My mom always found a way. I talk about pain often, but I don't think it's something that is always in my life. But I feel like because of the childhood that I had and the amount of time I spend on my own, I feel that my strength is being able to be on my own for a long time. But I had friends at school. I think his name was Francisco. And then we became good friends. But then eventually he got himself some buddies and then I was left to find my own friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was tough. A little bit of bullying. Always faced this one thing of like girls wanting to fight me and me not knowing why. I started playing piano because I either needed to choose karate because my mom was like, you need to you need to occupy your mind. I was starting to get sad because I would call her like, oh, I'm feeling sad, like I'm feeling alone. Uh, and, and she felt bad because she's like, I can't come home. Like I have to keep working in order to keep a roof over her heads. And then she just, she was really busy and she saw that I was needing to adjust to the change of like moving from Mexico to here. She's like, you need to pick something. And I was like, there's no way I'm doing karate mom. So I told her to get me a keyboard. Have an idea and if I can hear it, then I'll try to recreate that and just loop, record and loop everything using my judo. I'll either start like some chords and then I'll add some bass to it. And then I'll add the, the drum loop to it. And then I'll add something for the chorus to kind of like fill it up. And then eventually I start singing like a chorus or something, something catchy. And then eventually that turns into like more. I started to develop an interest in singing more in, in middle school. So I started doing talent shows. Here, things are more quiet. There aren't that many opportunities to perform to begin with. When I was younger in high school, there used to be a lot of punk shows literally just down the street. So I feel like that really inspired me to pursue music or to just even start. Pandulce was created, we met through a common friend. My friend invited me into an open mic and I was like, okay, pero como nos vamos a ir? How are we gonna go? Cause we have no car. <laughs> we were younger too. She's like, oh, my friend can take us. My friend is Alejandro, the trombone player. And then I met his brother, the bass player. And then I met Chris through them. Then later I met Ryan, our drummer, and Adam, who ended up being another guitar player. So friends of friends of friends. The very first few shows that we played or after we started to get better, like good at like performing, 
It was so much fun because I just had so much. I felt like a rock star, just walking around and singing and dancing. When I was in the band, you could talk, you could sing, you can kind of like joke around. And now, well, I don't have anyone to do that with because <laughs>、um, it's just my keyboard, my Juno. It's my husband. If you wanna go, Solo, I started to really put everything of me. There was nobody else putting in their ideas, so it is purely like me now. So it's like '80s inspired. So I have a lot of like synths, a lot of、um, bright and colorful sounds, dreamy and everything. So then you get to hear the the Gabby Bravo that was within Bundles. Things that I face as a solo female artist, I felt that I have felt a level of disrespect, and I just kind of try to show up with whatever I got with Gabby Bravo and her sound. It could be intimidating, but it could also be very empowering, and I usually go with the empowering. My art. One of the rules that I have is that if I can remember a dream so vividly, or I have like a strong emotion about it, then I end up painting it. I just feel very connected to my dreams. I do songwriting, I guess, while I'm asleep too. <laughs> yeah, this is the other version of that one. And it's kind of like saying, "Look at me, I am so pretty and classy." So my overall goal is to to keep doing this for as long as I can, and my personal goal is to obviously survive as as an artist. My name is Gabby Bravo, and I'm a musician, a Mexican singer songwriter. Check out my music. My biggest weakness: carbs. <laughs> I love fried potatoes.